In this video, I want to get you up and running as quickly as possible with the D7X RDT, or the Remote Deployment Tool. This tool is designed to be a single executable file you deploy to a remote system through your remote support software. For example, Screen Connect has a feature called the Toolbox, where you drop like a portable executable file and it executes on the remote system. In this case, you would use the D7X RDT. Now, if you're using a different remote support software, something a little bit older, maybe it doesn't have that feature, but it will allow you to transfer files to the remote system. What you would do is then transfer the executable file, the D7X RDT, to the remote computer and then run it from there. Now, before you actually create a D7X remote deployment tool, you may want to make some configuration changes from what you have been using locally. For example, in your config, this comes to mind. Under session, you probably don't want to be mapping any drives because I doubt they'll be working on the remote computer that you're, that you're going to support. Another thing that comes to mind on the in session tab is you may want to ensure that you're emailing yourself reports and you probably want to change this to close and delete D7X and all tools so that when you end session on the remote computer, it will email you any reports that D7X created and it will close and clean up deleting itself and the client on the other end won't have access to your tools. Go ahead and click Save Settings on this tab if you change anything. And now we'll go to our Config Management Portal in the Servers tab. Here you can see I have several configs and if you're watching this video you probably don't have one. So what you want to do is just click Save Local Config to Server. If you don't have a config name already it probably suggests the name default but you can give it anything you want to. I have uh, this one is starter config but I have latest and greatest and I have one for automated maintenance and that is a subject for another time. Go ahead and click yes and save that to the server. Okay. Now you may see this bit about definitions. You may want to upload only. This will upload your definitions to the server. Now, what definitions you might ask? This has nothing to do with any third-party applications that you may be using with D7. This only uploads definitions that you're using with Kill 'em All or the malware search tool. If you're not using Kill 'em All or the malware search tool or deuninstaller definitions, then you can skip this step entirely. The next thing you want to do is create new D7X RDT. The first thing it'll ask you is, do you want to be prompted for a technician password when you run this tool? Unless you're going to be leaving it in the presence of other people, I don't see any need for this. If you're just running it from your Screen Connect toolbox, you, you probably don't want to put a password on it. If you have multiple configurations, you may want to prompt to select a config to download, but more than likely you just want to use the one config that you have saved on the server. So we'll just use that. It also asks if you want to specify any additional command line arguments for D7X. This is, for example, MSPs might use this to deploy remote maintenance on a system with D7X and send a report to them. That, incidentally, is what my automated maintenance config is for, and that is in an, another video entirely, which has already been made, and if I remember, I will link to it in the video description here. So for now, we're just going to say no. We don't want to specify any command line arguments to D7X. And we have our D7X RDT created with the name of what it is, the config name in parentheses. This is the file that we're going to deploy on the remote system. Now that we've gotten D7X off this system, I can show you how to put it back on. I am not using any remote support software. I just wanted to show you the flow of using the D7X remote deployment tool as a single executable. Basically, you just run it. It will prompt you for UAC. It's going to start downloading the latest D7X components from our website, which it's doing right now. The next thing it'll do is download from the server that configuration, in this case, the starter config, which it's doing right now. And now it's already starting a session. So we've, we've got D7X already running. 
we'll just click save and continue to our session start prompt and d7 is running on the system from the d7x remote deployment tool now when we end session you see our settings are saved here close and delete d7x and all tools so when you end session either through this button or through this prompt d7x will close and delete itself what it will not delete is the d7x rdt This is why you don't want to just transfer the file to the remote system if you have the option of using something like the Screen Connect toolbox. But it's just a luxury. I hope this video has been informative and helpful. Thank you for watching.